All right, guys, so I am doing a giveaway and it's on that. So it's the headlight side marker tint. If y'all have seen the previous video that I have in the channel where I go ahead and do this, I made my own, but they do sell pre-cut ones for Audis, for other cars, anything you have. And I'll make sure I can go ahead and get you it. All you gotta do is like the video, subscribe if you're not subscribed already, but if you are subscribed, you can go ahead and just like the video and comment down below. So that's all you have to do. You guys will be answered in, and I'll go ahead and make sure and I get them for you guys. Whatever you car you have, either be A5, A4, S5, S4, S6, A whatever. And if your car can have one of these, or if you have a Mustang, or if you have a Charger, or whatever, I'll go ahead and make sure I can get you something that's pretty much like this. Or if you have a Charger, Mustang, something that's comparable to this. I want. I don't want anybody being left out. And I want to go ahead and whoever subscribes to the channel that they can go ahead and get something that they want. You know, it's not just strictly for Audis. And I know guys, it isn't much, but I wanna go ahead and say thank y'all for everyone who subscribed. I, it's just, it's, I know it's not the most expensive thing. I know other people give away cards and stuff like that. But one day, hopefully I can give more back to the people who helped me get to where I wanna be. But I know it's a little small gesture, but I wanna go ahead and give back to y'all. So just go ahead and like, subscribe, comment down below that you did that and you're into to win. And I just wanna say thank y'all for everyone who subscribed. I know it's not much, but I just wanna go ahead and give back to y'all. It's a small gesture, and I hope y'all appreciate it. And thank you for watching the channel. All right, guys, let me go ahead and get into the rest of the video. Peace. All right, guys, so I know I didn't put it in the video, but um, I just wanna let you guys know that this contest is gonna run for one month. So from the day I post this, which is tomorrow on the 9th, so it, we have until April 9th, and then I'll go ahead and cut it off, and that's it. So if you're watching this one month from now, which is April 9th, that's when the contest will be over. All right, guys, just wanna go ahead and make that clear. So when you think you finna have a good day, you know, it's the weekend and all that, and you're like, all right, let's go ahead and have an amazing day. You go to turn on your car and... Oh, okay. And it's dead. All right, guys. So pretty much my car is dead currently at the moment. The battery is fried. Um, I did jump start it earlier, so it did start up. I don't think it's gonna be the alternator or anything like that. I think it's just a simple battery fix. But pretty much, I'm gonna go ahead and get into the video and show you guys the cost, how to take the battery out, and pretty much just letting you know preventive ma preventative maintenance or maintenance on this car. Battery's part of it because it's been with the car. I'm pretty sure since the car was built. So, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys. Right, I'm gonna get to the video. Peace. And since the battery's dead, this doesn't work, so use your key. So if you're thinking of how to open your trunk, you can't use this key, because under here, there is nothing where you can put a key in. So, next up. All right guys, so if your car is dead and you can't open it through here and all that, so what you can do is go through the back seats. I tried this earlier and it didn't work, but now it does. Anyways, and you see in the back here, there's a tab, pull this and it'll release your lock. So it's a safety lock and pretty much just pull on the lever, it'll open up the trunk. And under there is my battery. Um, usually there's a spare tire and all that stuff in here. Currently I don't have mine in there, but this is where it is, where the spare tire is at. So, there is your battery. I'm gonna go ahead and unbolt it, pull it out, and it's a big ass motherfucker. Gee. Y'all wanna see a really cool trick that Audi has. Pull this up, there's a little clip in here. Bam, and it holds on to that. Now you can work on your thing. So there's a couple bolts in here, uh, one, two, three. And I believe in the back there might be some. Might not be. It might just be these three up front. But they are a size 13. So just go ahead and take these off. Because these this is the bracket that holds on to this. So your battery doesn't fly around in your trunk. Alright guys. So pretty much I took the battery off. Um, on the battery terminals themselves. It's a 10 millimeter. So one, two. And also in the back there's two bolts. So there's four in total. And then five right here. There's like a little thing that holds on to the battery. And I just went ahead and wrapped the positive in a towel just because I don't want to touch metal. And uh, just, yeah, then everything becomes conductive if there's any remaining energy in there. But the thing's heavy, man. Check that out. Thing's beefy. I want to say it weighs a good, like, 40 pounds. 
yeah I think it's working heavy but yeah guys so I want to say four not five five 13 millimeter bolts and then the rest are tens on the actual terminals themselves and unplug this which pretty much vents the battery to the exterior and then you can pull the battery out and just be careful make sure you don't touch positive to the metal just to be on the safe side all right so i'm currently whipping the nissan altima and uh i don't know how y'all motherfuckers some motherfuckers be driving fast as hell in these things but i don't know how because it's it's kind of hard to get up there but some motherfuckers be whipping these things honestly that's crazy if you can drive this thing like a race car i don't know how you do it there's a button I'm missing or something because some of y'all drive this thing crazy. But anyways, I just picked up the battery. Heading home, I'm going to go ahead and switch it out. I went to O'Reilly's because I prefer O'Reilly's over AutoZone. AutoZone is just like, it's all, too many people going in there because they just know that's the to-go source. So it takes forever to get help and all that. And then O'Reilly's is always empty. But the like the people who work there are so nice. Like I think they're nicer than AutoZone, honestly. But uh, yeah, I just got the part and it ran me like 168 bucks because I picked up a cool magnet as well. But other than that, it's like 165 around there, I want to say. So it's pretty cool. Got the battery. I'm going to go ahead home and show you the installation and hopefully the car starts. All right, guys. So I went ahead and got the battery back in the car. It was really simple. Those three bolts just go back in there. This little thing slides in here. And I got the new battery in. This thing is a lot smaller than the old one. Um, well, not a lot. Probably like this much smaller. Um, I don't have the exact specs, but if you were to able to go to O'Reilly's or anything like that, you'll be, be be able to find it. For this battery, I think it's like $149 before they take the core. And then the core is like $18. Bucks. So if you return the core, they give you $20 or $18 bucks back. And yeah. So I'll go ahead and put which battery it is specifically. It's from O'Reilly's. I'll go ahead and put it in. So you guys can take a look at it real quick. And that's the battery I got in here. Pretty much go ahead and put it back in. Negative to negative, positive to positive. Don't get those mixed up or you'll have a bad time. Other than that, just go ahead and plug that bitch back in. Easy as that. Um, coding. A lot of people say you have to code the battery. I'm not going to do it because I don't want to pay extra. And also I'm doing it so I can test it for you guys if you guys really need to code it. you know. I'm taking the bullet. I'm buying the bullet for you guys. And I'll let you guys know if you really need it or not in like six months. Is what Audi told me. Audi quoted me for the battery 260 installations, like 180, and then coating is like 100 and something. So just the battery itself ran me like 180 around there. So that's all I spent. No coating, no nothing. I'll let you guys know if you guys really need it in a couple months when my car is dead again. But hopefully not. Let's see how it goes. Other than that, just go ahead and close the flap, and you're done car works brought it back from the dead and just test the car works lights on Let's see if it works here and everything should go back to normal um, from what I've seen it's really easy Bam. easy as that car starts up just fine and you got your car back and it works all right guys so I hope y'all if your car ever dies, don't be scared. It's an Audi thing. You might think, oh, fuck, I got to do so much thing because it's an Audi. It's going to be hard to pull the battery out and all that. Honestly, it takes any other car. It's easy. There's videos on YouTube. Now there's this video as well. So don't be scared to work on your car and do what you got to do to fix it. All right, guys. Till next time. Peace. Oh, and if you have any questions or anything like that about the installation, battery, or anything like that, hit me up on my Instagram, gat underscore zilla. Sorry if I've never hit, uh, replied there. I get a lot of messages, and I try to get to everybody as I can, and sometimes I miss some. So if you guys want to go ahead and message me about any problems you have about your Audi or car or installation or anything I've done to my car or past videos, please hit me up on there. I'll go ahead and try to reply to you guys. All right, guys. Till next time. Peace.